Uh, this is Gary Gaucher live at the Maywood Festival with Hip Hop Legends. I want to ask you a question. How does it feel for you guys, naughty by nature, to have the hip hop anthems? I mean, when you when you speak about hip hop, and at that particular time in the 90s when I was working in school since every basketball game, every football game, every dance, it started with hip hop hooray. Right. Oh, it right. still happens. Though. And then it still goes on like that. And then when you jumped out with <laughs> you down with OPP, you know, all us old school old teachers, we had to ask the kid, what, what, what's OPP? <laughs> you know, what, what's OPP? Exactly. So uh, I, I'm going to go left to right, introduce yourself. Yeah, yeah, what's up? This Trigger Tretch right here. Hey, and I'm Vinny, Uncle Vim Rock. Yeah, what up? This KG, peace. Well, I understand you guys just came back from a, a, a trip overseas. You guys were in Russia, you guys were in Australia. Yeah, yeah. What was that like? It was crazy, man. Every every spot on the earth is a different type of culture, different type of environment and everything else. Just to go in there and see how much they love hip-hop and just know your records. And even if they speak the language or not, they still sing along with every, every, every lyric and every verse, man. It's a special feeling, definitely. So you would say hip-hop is universal, it's worldwide. Oh, absolutely. Hip-hop has been universal for a very long time. I remember being a kid and watching Run DMC in like 83, 84. They were over in Russia, you know? So hip-hop has been global for a long time, man. It's just that a lot of times our people don't respect the culture and respect the power of our music and our culture and our industry, you know? When you guys first jumped out on the scene, did you ever think that hip hop, first of all, would last this long and it would be the worldwide phenomenon that it is? I mean, you as a hip hop artist, like, you always feel like it's never going to stop, but like the media, everybody always said, you know what, it had its run. This is probably going to be the last couple of years of hip hop. It's not going to have long legs. It's not going to stand long. But us, as far as every, we see every new generation of hip hop go so hard with it, it's like it never falls in my eyes. You know what I mean? This is highs and lows sometimes, but it's like hip hop, it's going to be here for eternity, man, till the end, in my eyes. Now, who is the creative one, or do you guys collaborate on the things that you have done and continue to do? Yeah, we're all creative. We're all collaborators. And um, actually, we had two more members when we were kids. And uh, we had Octabox. We had um, DJ Mufi. We had two beatboxers and two DJs, an MC. So, you know, it just dwindled down to the three of us. And yeah, we're all creative, man, ever since we were kids. Yeah, it's definitely a collaborative effort. You know, everybody you know, does different things and at the same time do the same stuff. And we all pitch in and make it. They, they always, we always called it a three-headed monster. And a lot of the, like other groups that were down with us a lot of times, they would be, always be like, well, Naughty, it's three of them. They could do a lot more than we can. I'm only one person. I'm only one person. That's how they get a lot of that stuff done. So, Well, you guys have done not only great music, but Mr. Treach here has done some outstanding films. Uh, Jason Lyric is one of the all-time great movies. And uh, Love and the Bullet, is that it? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, we got a we got a long catalog, long catalog, and we got we definitely got some more films that's in the works and everything else. So look out, we gonna we gonna continue to do it and roll with it, hard body like. We gonna show them what we got. Well, on behalf of the community of Maywood and uh, Shannon Brown and Michael Finley, you know, two NBA superstars, we want to yeah. thank you guys for coming out for the first annual. This is the first year that we're able to kick it off, and we know that it's going to be a continued success, and we just are very thankful that you guys uh, came this way and made it happen for all of us and all the people right. in this community. Thanks so thank you so much.